Welcome back, guys, to uh, <clears throat> War Z. It's it's daytime now, so that's pretty nice. I joined one of the the lowest population servers. There's like four people on here, five with me. Oh, okay, not anymore. Thirteen people now. That was fast. Okay. So we are at the Oak Mountain rest stop. As you can see, there's a bunch of zombies in a straight line. I think some player went running in that direction and shook off the zombies. I don't know if there's going to be anyone close, but I am under, still on the verge of dying, pretty much. So I am going to have to be really careful about everything. Also, I sort of upped the, um, the sound in the game, so hopefully it's going to pick up on that, and it will be, it will be a little bit easier to hear for you guys, but... Uh, Let's see, I don't see any players, I think. So, let's see, there's two zombies there. Or three. Yeah, there's, oh, four. There's a bunch of, they actually lie down on the ground and act as if they're dead if they're not. And uh, it's just really confusing and they trick you into thinking they're dead. Then they attack you and it's not a very fun experience. So let's try not to mess with those zombies. And just go to the rest stop itself. And I'm noticing that the frame rate is not doing too well. Awesome. This is what I was talking about earlier. I think I talked about this before, but... Uh, I'm having some issues with recording stuff. So I'm going to have to figure this out. Because it's up to three frames now. I'll be right back. Okay, now it appears to be working again shortly. It just sort of jumps and falls as it pleases itself. So I don't, it's really weird. But uh, for now, it seems to be doing okay. So I'm just going to sneak my way into the rest stop. I hope there's medicine because I need it really badly. Really badly. Oh God, what's that say? Oh, there's a zombie. Okay. There's a bunch of zombies around here. I think if I equip my flashlight, I can just kill this one because it's only one of them. If it if it decides to attack me, hey zombie, there you go. I got you. Oh god, the other zombie is coming. I want a piece of this action. Take this. Super awesome combat mechanics. There we go. So, um, the first video did pretty well, actually. A lot of people agreed with me. Some people got really mad and said that I was just negative and whatnot. And honestly, I've mostly been given just facts. Okay, when I talked about the developers lying, that is just a stone, stone-cold hard fact. They lied about stuff, and that's not nice to do, so... I'm not a fanboy of DayZ. I haven't played the game in months, like I've said. And I just want to give this game attention. Uh, although I didn't really, really want to give it attention. I just enjoy playing zombie MMOs. And the thing is that this game is just sort of new. And I just prefer playing this over DayZ right now, so I don't know. What is that? Is that a granola bar? Hey, are you granola bar? Or chocolate bar? What is it? Chocolate bar. Two chocolate bars, awesome. We are almost in the supermarket. Everything is going smooth. Please don't kill me, zombie. I've got no business with you. So as you can see, there's... Oh, crap, there he is. So as you can see, there's still issues with graphics and whatnot. Um, the game has been released as a full game, but there's still stuff like... Trees clipping through walls. Now, if that were a broken window, I'd be okay with that, but it's clipping through an entire wall. So, yeah, I don't I don't get that. I don't get why that ha why, why that's happening and stuff like that, but it's kind of stupid. There's nothing here, absolutely nothing. Awesome. Let's kill this zombie and search the rest of this place. Die. I just hope I find a hammer. Because that would make everything so much easier. There you go. Still no money for me, huh? There's nothing in the truck. 
What the mailbox? Nope, nothing there. I'm gonna check the back of this place, see if there's anything here. Because items spawn all over the place. I see a can of soda, I think. Um, but it's not like DayZ, where it's just a pile of stuff in a set place. It's like all over the place. All around buildings. And that's something I like. That's a pretty good thing they did, but... Um, instant oatmeal, there we go. I'm gonna eat the oatmeal, actually. Because it also replenishes your thirst. Not just your hunger, so it's actually pretty useful for that. As well, there's also there's more stuff like that, like soup, I think. Replenishes both of your things, and juice. Does mostly thirst, but some hunger. So, there is some good things there. I don't think the zombies actually bunch together. Like, if you pull one, it's not like they all come, like all the other zombies in its path. See, it's just the one, so that's not really something to be afraid of in this game. It is sad, because in most other games it works that way. But if, you know, other zombies see this one zombie running towards something, they follow it, but in this game it doesn't work like it. The, uh, the AI is not very impressive at all. There we go. Let's see, let's check the car. And nothing. Let's check these things. These What are they anyway? Like barbecues or something. That's what they look like to me. I don't know what they are. Did we just kill pretty much every zombie here? I think we may have. Okay, let's walk around and see if there's some more spawns. I don't know anything about where all the items spawn in this place. I've never been here before. So I can't really help myself there. Oh god, no. So if you got two zombies, you got trouble. Especially with a flashlight, because it takes forever to kill one of them. I've got no medicine. This could be the end. Oh god. There we go, that's one down. Now it's just the one we need to focus on. So that's a pretty, pretty good thing to do, is just run backwards. And just keep hitting the zombies. And that way you can, you know, actually get away with a lot of stuff. I mean, it doesn't work if you've got like 10 zombies. Then it's better to just run, but in this situation, it worked. Fight me, dude. Fight me. There you go. So sometimes zombies do drop stuff. Mostly I just find hats and whatnot. Or other useless stuff like money, but uh, every now and then they'll drop something. Painkillers. There we go. That's awesome. That will improve my health a little bit. Let's take down this first one. Oh god. No, no, no. I pulled two again. Or did I? Maybe it's just the one. It's too early to tell. But the other one is really slow, so I don't... Nope, didn't see me. Awesome. Let's kill this douche first. So, as I said, experience has no use at all. There's, it doesn't do anything, so I, I'm not gonna farm experience or anything like it. I probably will not delete this character. I just don't really care about experience. What's that? Oh, it's the music. The music always sounds like there's something coming or something weird is going on, but it's just the music. And it's really confusing. Because, for example, the music actually contains parts of, like, zombie grunts. You do not want to hear that when you're playing a zombie game. I don't know why they did it, but it's annoying. I'm not a big fan of the soundtrack of this game. I mean, normally I just play my own music, but obviously in a Let's Play I can't really do that. Because it will get the videos flagged and delete it. Hey, dude. You want to fight me and stuff? Cool. So mostly I just walk around, I clear entire places of zombies, just to see if they drop anything, money maybe. And so I can, have, you know, pick up all the loot there is. Antibiotics, there we go. There we go, now we're getting somewhere. I mean, it's just easier if you actually dispatch all the zombies. I mean, you can sneak past all of them, but if you get ever get trapped, you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. So it's easier to just kill them all, and then be done with it that way. But I think we've got pretty much everything. We can still check the cop car. Maybe there's something in there. What you gonna do? You gonna do nothing. There's only six people left. So if you don't have any weapons, I would suggest myself to play on a low pop population server. 9mm mag. Would you look at that? Electro aid. This is pretty good because now I can reload my handgun. What is that? Is that a helmet? Yes. Helmet's actually... Ooh, another gun. Jesus. Okay. So... Um, helmets actually protect you from headshot damage that you can take when people shoot at you. Obviously. I mean, derp. 
Uh, ooh, water. Yes, please. We're, we're getting some good stuff here. There we go. When I'm sure I'm not going to be fighting any more zombies, I'm just going to... Um, uh, I think I'm going to go to Campo City. I just want to see a big city and show it to you guys. So you have an idea of what it's like. So I'm going to equip my gun. Let's just use that one first. Um, I mean, if you're not going to run into any zombies, it's probably better to use a, to actually hold a gun in your hands if you have one instead of a melee weapon. Because players might start actually showing up and just start unloading on you, you know? So it's always better to just start shooting. I'm just going to run because I don't care about the zombies. You know, I'm fine right now. Holding my gun. Actually, something they changed uh, that I noticed later is if you reload, like I've got four uh, bullets left in the mag, if I reload now, it's gonna drop the mag with four bullets and I can actually hold on to the, um, actually the full mag goes into the gun, so you like drop uh, a mag with four bullets. So always keep that in mind, it actually drops on the floor, you have to pick it up yourself. Um, I actually lost some ammo that way, so... Try to keep that in mind, but stuff can get pretty frantic if you're in a firefight and you, you know, don't actually notice the fact you dropped a mag. Then you should probably keep uh, keep your eyes on the on the on the ground. Anyway, there's ten people now. I think I should be okay, Mister Iron Sky. Hey, dude. 